Let's talk about IPv6 addressing. Please see this comparison of IPv4 and IPv6 addresses. In IPv4, I told you already, we had 32 bits of address space. They are separated by three dots, which means we have four octets. An octet is eight bits. This is one byte. And the IPv4 address is written in dotted decimal notation. So you can see one octet is eight bits and the total is four times eight, which is 32 bits. In IPv6, we have more space because we need more addresses. So people thought, hmm, let's create address space of 128 bits. And because decimal numbers would be too many, let's just do hexadecimal. We can see an example of an IPv6 address. This is pretty common, but that's the long notation. In practice, you can omit the zeros or at least some of them, and you will have a shorter address, like the one on the bottom. And also I showed you how the bit notation looks like. That's the binary notation. That's a pretty long number. There are different rules of displaying an IPv6 address. In general, we have eight groups with four hexadecimal digits each. You can see the example on the bottom. One digit is called a nibble. And each group of nibbles represents 16 bits, which are separated by colon. You can see one number means four bits, four numbers is 16 bits, and one number is one nibble. There are different rules how to display an IPv6 address. On the top, you can see the long notation. That's the full IPv6 address notation. But rule number one says leading zeros can be omitted. I mark them in blue. From every block, the leading zeros you can just leave out. So in step one, you can leave out all the leading zeros. And in step two, you can use groups of zeros and replace them by double colon. But you can only do that once per address. Why? Because just think about it. If you have two different groups at two different locations in the address, separated by double colon, which means there is any number of zeros in between. You never know. Is there six zeros in the beginning and only 12 at the end? Or is it the other way around? You never know. So it has to be only once. And on the bottom, you can see the short notation of an IPv6 address. So in practice, nobody uses the long notation at the top. People use the location. People use the notation on the bottom. So you can see it's not that hard. It's just different.